Defining the Gap, brought to you by Powder Passion. Hello everyone, today I will be discussing Chad's Gap, but before I begin, if you end up liking this mini documentary, it would mean a lot if you could like and share. Anyway, let's begin. Chad's Gap is situated in the mountain range of Utah. It has attracted a crowd since the early 90s, inspiring athletes like Candide, a feature conquered by the greatest athletes, a feature which, if conquered, is most often the pinnacle of one's skiing career. A feature which will forever solidify you into the alpine scene. But first, to understand this landmark, you have to go back. Oddly, the tale begins with snowboarders. During the early to mid-90s, snowboarding edged out skiing as the popular snow sport. Like a cult, each year hundreds of snowboarders would meet near the slack county of Alta, where different crews would build kickers all over the backcountry terrain. The reason snowboarders would meet near the Alta region is somewhat surprising. I believe it was an act of defiance, considering the county banned snowboarding. The ban was placed and guided by old misconceptions of snowboarders and served to divide the skiing and boarding community. Astonishingly, this ban still hadn't been revoked, even after many appeals from the boarding and snow sports community. The following clip depicts what people thought of snowboarding in the 90s. It's like snow surfing, an idea that originated in, where else, California. It's been around for almost a decade in the United States, and now it's becoming the trendy thing to do on our local ski slopes. But the operators of the hills want them off. Quite a, quite a lot of them are uncooperative. Um, some of them have had a little bit to drink, and uh, smart Alex, you know, you go up and approach them in a very calm, collect manner, and they, they tend to lip you off. You ask them very nicely to leave, that they're endangering the public and possibly themselves. And they, uh, they swear at you, they tell you to get lost, mind your own business. So it's quite a problem for us, really. As this clip re-emphasizes, snowboarding in the 90s was shun upon and is perhaps why Chad's gap even came to fruition. Andy Brewer was a professional snowboarder who came to the Alta region quite often. One day, while him and his crew were constructing a kicker near the now-known Chad's gap, he peered and wondered about the possibility of jumping between these two hills. Thinking nothing of it, he returned to their stay to relax. However, in the evening, he overheard one of his skier compatriots, wishing to find a challenge. His name was Chad Zurienskaz. The Udor chef and keen skier took the opportunity to half-heartedly tell Chad about a gap that no one had ever dared to air. The following morning, Andy took Chad and his friend Bren, who was a photographer as a consequence of injuries, to scout the area quite fitting to Chad's character. He was then quoted saying, yeah, I can jump this. Sometime later, Chad returned with Brent, this time Candid Tobex and Chris Owens, a filmer. I would just like to emphasize that Candide was a meek, 16 years old at the time. I will now let Chris Owens narrate what happened next. The day that Candide and Chad hit it, Chad hit the gap twice. First time he came up really short, second time he was just under. That was a huge thing. And uh, coming up short, regardless of the conditions, yeah, it's, it's going to shake you and it's going to hurt, even in, even in deep powder. So Chad was done for the day. Candy very politely came up to Chad and uh, in his broken English asked uh, if he could hit his gap. Chad's gap has grown in popularity ever since. Candide's jump, but the name has remained Chad's gap, because Chad initially envisioned the jump, even though he wasn't the first to land it. Because of the elusive nature of the jump, being tucked away and relatively inaccessible, coupled with all the athletes that have jumped in, Chad's gap has earned an almost legendary status in the snow sports community. My narration has now come to an end.